ladies and gentlemen, and being a producer of Wrestle Massacre, as well as Inside Movies Galore, I am David Stregi, and welcome to Delusions of Grandeur. Enjoy the reviews. I certainly did. That's it. Screw you and your college flunkies. I've had enough of this from you and from everyone else. I know what you guys are trying to do. Break me down, drive me out of the force. Well, it's gonna take a hell of a lot more than a lame prank like this to get Curtis Mooney to throw in his badge, so fuck you. Over. Did you miss me? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another exciting review from Delusions of Grandeur. I am David Stregi, and here I have a, a, another review for you, as I said. Uh, this time of a film that was filmed in 2020, uh, um, and it is a film uh, directed by Mark Byrne. Um, I have seen one other film by this director, uh, and he uh, goes under the, uh, production company of Absurd Production Pictures. Um, uh, he brought to, uh, uh, brought us, uh, Bigfoot, uh, which was kind of a documentary style mockumentary on Bigfoot movies. <laughs> Um, and, uh, this time he brings us a film called Remnants. Uh, the film stars, uh, um, definitely a bunch of char a a character a a a actors. Uh, the f uh, film stars, uh, uh, Jim Crut, um, who, um, if you don't know anything about him, he uh, he was a helicopter zombie in uh, the original Dawn of the Dead, I believe. Um, Gus Zuko and uh, uh, Hilary Steyer, among uh, uh, among others. Um, we have a world in which remnants are like. Uh, uh, images or imprints of spirits or spiritual things or spiritual beings that have unfinished business here on earth and apparently there there is a character here uh, here by the name of snap nimzer who appears to have a lot of money um and i guess within his ancestral home uh, 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 home um, is a portal between the world of the remnants and the world of the living. So I guess what uh, what he do, uh, 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 does is he hires a couple of hitmen to become his middle management pe uh, uh, pe uh, people. Um, uh, I guess uh, he hires Quinlan and Bannon, who are played by Matthew L. Furman and uh, uh, Thomas Tui, um, to conduct and orchestrate some interviews of um, some people who can actually see these remnants. And they 
find three of these people. Two of them are men. One of uh, well, one of them is a man, a man by the name of Patrick McGuire, played by uh, um, Matthew Amos. Another, is, uh, 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 I guess, is uh, um, Sabrina Stinson, played by Jess Conley. This is actually her first role in here. But uh, the Amos brothers actually do. Uh, do um, it's it's funny. Uh, 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 the guy playing Patrick McGuire, the uh, the man of the group. Uh, 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 well, the man of the psychic group. Um, his br uh, uh, brother, I, bl I believe, Jeremy Ogre Amos, uh, plays Kilroy the Clown. So. It's kind of interesting how uh, 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 the, uh, this all uh, all takes uh, uh, place. Um, we got Mel Heflin, uh, who plays uh, uh, Denise, who is uh, the niece of uh, Snap Nimzer. Um, she has taken up residence in a home that seems to be haunted by um, a spiritual presence by the name of Remy. Um, and I guess this spiritual, uh, spiritual presence ends up, uh, making Denise, uh, go a little bit crazy, uh, which I guess a little bit later we learn that she was put in a, in a psych, psych ward, and, uh, I guess she eventually either takes her life or gets her life taken, uh, a lot of that Bit, uh, bit part is done over the phone. <laughs> so, um, that part I'm a little bit, a bit confused on. But, um, we have an interesting group of psychics th uh, that is brought into the equ equation. And, uh, 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 there's a little bit, a uh, bit of some side stories go uh, going on here. I mean, you've got, um, apparently Quinlan is sleeping with, uh, Snaps, uh, uh, main girl, um, I guess, <laughs> and, uh, which ultimately he, uh, she ends up being Kil uh, Kilroy's first victim. Now, Kilroy, um, evidently is a serial killer clown that was apparently, um, alive once, killing, and, uh, when he died he went to another place and he evidently found a way uh, found the portal in which to enter our wor a world and is able to kill and br bring uh, s uh some remnants of the, from the living back to the the world of the rem remnants and uh I find it interesting how one of the characters uh, she had a college gr uh, girlfriend a friend uh, be haunted by her sister. Um, another um, evidently, evidently could see a spiritual spirit, um, which eventually became her spirit guide. Um, of a young girl who was a, wa a waitress who had been strangled by a so-called lady killer. And uh, apparently that lady killer is played by Jesse Green, uh, if, if, if I remember correctly. And Jesse Green is definitely a, char a character. He's a, he's a character a, 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 actor that I've seen in many of the uh, Funky Monkey productions uh, of Brad Twiggs, and uh, I've seen him in several uh, groups. Uh, uh, Rick Germain, I've see, uh, seen him in quite a, uh, quite a few films of Brad Twiggs. Um, and uh, George Stover sh uh, shows up here as a uh, professor uh, who warns them of Kil uh, Kilroy uh, and his presence... Uh, going through the portal and the fact that 
Kilroy has to be killed and um, ultimately the portal has to be closed so that no more evil presences uh, can escape from that particular domain. Um, we also have uh, 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 another character um, by the name of Ward Terrence, played by Gus Zuko. Um, he's not necessarily um, a psychic, but he has a connection with someone who has pa passed in his life. And... Supposedly, he's uh, uh, got a short, uh, shortened sentence on when he's uh, supposed to be. Uh, uh, I guess he's got some kind of cancer or disease or something like that, that he's not too far, uh, far away from dying anyways. So he wants to put whatever monies that he has and kind of, you know, fund the projects and the ventures that uh, that they end up going on. So... Uh, there are four people in this psych team, and they have some successes. Um, um, making sure that uh, some remnants find peace. Um, one in particular, I, th I think, was in a convenience store. Evidently, she was still on this earth haunting him because of the guilt that the convenience store owner still had of the incident <clears throat> and it just so happened that she had some involvement in it and uh, uh, the convenience store owner uh, er, could be at peace because it wasn't really entirely his fault um, there are some benevolent uh, remnants in the realm um when they go down, and uh, I do like the fact that there are actors and actresses that are not exactly skinny mini. <laughs> um, so, but I also like the fact that there uh, there are are actresses he here that uh, that you can definitely uh, tell that they're. Um, okay with their body mass. <laughs> I'm not sure how to explain it. Uh, but they're okay with their sexuality. Um, though they're, some of them are a little, a, a little on the heavier side. Um, and I'm trying to say that without being too rude or inconsequential or anything uh, thing like, uh, like, uh, like that. Uh, regular rinky dink old Hollywood uh, what tends to have a uh, thing against people who have any kind of a weight gain on on them. <laughs> uh, you don't see too many pe people who aren't muscled or muscular or anything like that. Uh, that in regular mainstream Hollywood, it's like they uh, they try to keep a a healthy distance between the, uh, 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 those people who actually look like they've lived their lives. <laughs> but in any ca uh, case, I really like the storyline uh, in this film. I thought it was a better film than Bigfoot was. I thought Big, uh, Bigfoot was a lot of uh, fun, whereas uh, uh, this one was uh, uh, trying to be a lot more... Um, thought uh, going into it and I don't think that there were too many characters that were coming out of the woodworks that uh, could get you confused with the uh, the characters that were brought into play um, and uh, I like the uh, I, I like the interesting mix of character actors that uh, that I know well like George Stover and Jesse Green and Rick Germain. I, mean, I know those ca uh, uh, characters. Mel Heflin was a good surprise too. Um, she reminds me of uh, uh, Fiona when she's turned into Shrek's mate. 
uh, that's the way she looks to, uh, uh, to me. So I've always thought, uh, uh, I've thought a couple of times while I've seen her even in, in Brides of the Werewolf re uh, uh, recently, though I haven't reviewed it myself. I was a, an executive producer on the pro uh, project, so um, I also saw her in Halloween Horror Tales, which was directed by Jeff Kirken uh, 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 doll and uh, I I've liked her in uh, in the things that uh, that I've seen her uh, in the films that I have seen her in, so that was a, a, a good thing to see, uh, see uh, uh, her. In. Now, Monique Dupree, I know that she's been in quite a few um, uh, films as well. Let's um, see, what, uh, what is, she, is she in that I've uh, see, uh, seen? Um, I guess she's in Death Care, um, which I have not see, uh, seen as of yet. She's in Shakespeare's Shitstorm. She's in Killer Waves 2, which I have not see, uh, 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 seen. But I guess she's in... Um, let's see, I guess she's in Return, uh, to, uh, Return to Newcom High, Volume 2, which I have not seen yet. Um, she's in Caesar and Otto's, uh, Paranormal Halloween. Um, she's in Plan 9 as Be uh, 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 Becky. Um, uh, she's in Sheriff Tom vs. the Zombies, which I... I have not seen yet. Um, she's in Skeleton Key 3, The Oregon Trail. Uh, I guess she's in The Horror Vault 3. Um, she's in a short film called Play Dead. She's in a movie called Spirit. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, she's in Skeleton Key 2, 667, Neighbor of the Beast. And I guess she's also in Hot Zombies, which is an earlier uh, 2005. Uh, it was a trauma film that uh, that won some awards or what whatnot. It was part of a uh, a film collection of uh, uh, sorts at the time, uh, so I guess that was her earlier, and she was uh, she was hemophilia. <laughs> so, in any case, hopefully you enjoyed my description of this film. Um, like and subscribe to my page if you have not. Definitely check the film out if you uh, you have not. Let me know down in the comments whether you've seen the f uh, film. And whether you'd uh, 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 whether you'd watch it again or or the, uh, this and that, and uh, hopefully you get a chance to check out the film. It is an independent f uh, 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 film, and uh, um, it is kind of a slow burn. But um, if you get into the character actors that are here and the shot on video atmosphere that it brings about I think that you might be able to enjoy it um, it definitely has a lower budget um, it doesn't have a zero budget but uh, but it does have a budget of a kind and uh, I thought it, w it, it did okay. I mean, there wasn't a whole lot of special effects go uh, uh, going on about the film. There was a lot. Uh, uh, there was some dia uh, dialogue, uh, lo uh, and I think there was a little bit, a uh, uh, bit of a coolness to the group that was uh, 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 brought about, and some of the madness that some of the uh, uh, characters from the realm of the remnants brought to the table. So thank you for listening. Have a great day, evening, or morning, wherever you are. And I appreciate your time spent here. So thank you. And uh, hopefully you get a chance to check the film out. It was entertaining for me. You were good, kid. Real good. But as long as I'm around, you'll always be second best, see?